Tropical Weather Service Office at Greenville Spartanburg. One hour? The preceding signal was a test of weather radio station, KXI-81's public warning system. Yes. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated to warn of an impending hazard. What is it an hour? Test of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted between 11 a.m. and noon each Wednesday. If there had been a threat of severe weather, the test would have been postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings. For station KXI-81, broadcasting near Clayton, Georgia, on a frequency of 162.45 MHz, the warning alarm will be activated for the following counties in northeast Georgia, Banks, Hathersham, Hall, Raven, Townsend White, in North Carolina, Macon, and in South Carolina, Oconee. This concludes the NOAA Weather Radio, all hazards to an alert test. The current time is 11, 11 a.m. daylight time. Now for the official... All right, there you guys go for the Greenville Spartanburg weekly test. All right, what is going on, guys? Go PG, you're back with you on another video. And today is going to be the required weekly test as of June 10th. This day setup was requested by Don the Player. <laughs> so, yeah, big shout out to them for requesting a... Uh, layout or whatever so as you can see I already got the Greenville Spartanburg weekly test which for some reason they toned for an hour I don't know why they did that either they toned it for an hour or I just got it for an hour um, but I it showed up as an hour so there's the GSP weekly test I guess but anyways um, let's go ahead and go over the setup W120 so on this table we have both handhelds <laughs> which is pretty awesome um, I've never had them both like this before, so, yeah. Spot 3, we have the Radio Shack 12521. Spot 4 is the 250. Spot 5 is the EAR-10. It's back up on the top shelf, and I think it looks a lot better on the top shelf. So, um, for spot 6, we have the R1650. Spot 7 is the 74200. Spot 8 is the W100, which... I'm going to have to find another one eventually. Um, I do apologize that this doesn't work. Um, we haven't been able to go to Goodwill because coronavirus. Um, they require masks and we don't... Well, we have them now, but we, don't, we didn't have them then. Excuse the bed. And in spot 9, once again, we have the Radio Shack uh, 12247B. A chance of showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. And over here still, I mean, this is permanent. We have the uh, scanner. Which I'm going to go ahead and turn to KC80. Chance of rain 50%. Alright. So, uh, I will join you guys back when the weekly test goes off. For the Atlanta area. Today, chance of showers and. Whoa! Uh, oh. Whoa! I'm going to guess they glitched out. This test is conducted at approximately 11.30 each Wednesday morning with a permitting. That's weird. If this had been an actual emergency weather situation, the warning alarm would have been followed by an actual watch or warning. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances Actually, from the transmitter, will occur even if you are using a quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will normally be activated for warning really, yeah. selected watches within a 40 mile radius of your transmitter. This area includes the following counties in the Atlanta listening area. Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Forsyth, Fulton, Oh my god. Oh. Weather broadcasting. 
Good God. The following reports of wind. Okay. I forgot about this one. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. There you go with that. West winds five to ten miles an hour. Chance of rain fifty percent. Whoa. Thursday, sunny. Highs in the lower eighties. <laughs> Northwest winds ten to fifteen miles an hour. Yeah, KC80 needs to fix themselves. <laughs> All right, the review. Weekly test. Uh, I turned that off. Uh, the required weekly test and unrecognized message. <laughs> the second weekly test for this thing. It's, oh, what? Oh, that was self activated. Never mind. Um, yeah. Second one was sent at 1131. First one was sent at 1109. So that was useful, actually, having my bell thing right here. Because apparently WXK56 does their weekly tests first. At least out of the ones that I can get. Or maybe, maybe it's another one. I don't know. I'll have to uh, experiment next week. But that was very useful. Um, that was actually very useful. I didn't know they tested that early. Or before KEC-80. Oh, bro. I thought I was about to say. So V your thunderstorm warning for. Um, weekly test on here. Uh, I clicked that. Red week. Weekly test, 6 hours, well, 5.53. Wait, does it say 5.53? Oh, 5.57. Where weekly test? And this guy obviously got nothing, because it's dead. And this guy is flashing. I don't know what that weird chirp was there. I think the transmitter's having issues again, so it just didn't just didn't get the uh, 1050 hertz. But anyways, um, thank you guys very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you all next time.